Yeah, hi, good morning everyone. Yes, good morning, Mitty Benjamin. Shall we begin the session? Yeah, there yeah, there were some network problems. Yeah, that's where the class is today for okay. So this is a new module and uh, yesterday I have sent you a soft copy of this PDF. So let's start with the part number one that is a need assessment. How to evaluate, how to design, how to make the assessment of the project. So whenever we are thinking about, so the first step is used to assessment for this one that is a particular take the particular topic that is that must be understood that provides a particular environment issue that needs to be addressed and the conversation soon ends with the suggestions that education may well be part of the answers that is used with the project that should be developed. Uh, Mitty Benjamin are you able to hear me? Hello? Yeah my yeah, my voice is clear to you. Hello. Is it audible? Okay. Now, uh, is it okay right now? So it is okay. So shall we continue? So first of all, what is the need assessment? So whenever we are taking out the assessment, whenever we are taking out analysis, take the analysis, so that needs a, as a assessment that establish a need for a particular project by systematically examining the audience interests and knowledge, agency missions, authorities and the capabilities and what is the significance of a particular environmental conditions of the issues. So what is the significance, what is the importance of the uh, a particular environment conditions of the issues and that will be helpful to visualize need assessment as a form of the gap analysis. So whatever the gap that is required for the systematic exploration of the divisions that is between the current condition and the le level of services that is what is required and how it is required and as well as the desired conditions in which the lack of the services or what are the various level of the services that will be used. So what should be and what is. So in simple terms, if I, if I, if I compile each and everything assessment means to filling the gap or identify the gap between the what is and what should be. And by analyzing the gap, project team member can identify or can begin with the various phases of the SDLC. So first part is to identify the problems, opportunities, strength, strength, challenges and the possible new directions. So whatever the new directions, whatever the problems, whatever the opportunities, strength, challenges that is used that is acquired for the new directions. And through a careful analysis of the existing market and the assessment of the organization's strength, that is a more strategic understanding of the gaps and the potential opportunity emerges. And whatever the result that is available that is that is matched with the organizational needs, if their needs are satisfied, so that is to identify for the large audience. And a need assessment also provides education coordinators with the well-documented and considerable evidence to support the project design process. What is the project design process, how it is developed and how it is well-documented. And there is a need assessment that does not merely justify a proposed project after critical decisions have been made, but helps to establish why project may be needed and provides the critical data and the information about the ultimate structure of the project. That means what is the ultimate structure of the project, how it is developed and why, why it is developed and what are the various benefits of using this. As might be expected, need assessment takes place prior to understanding the or undertaking the project or prior to the or before the undertaking of the project what is the need assessment that identifies and determines the scope of the social, economic and the environmental conditions. What are the various social conditions, what are the various economic conditions and the environmental conditions or the issues that needs improving. Then also requires or the next point is gathering the information about the gap between what is and what should be or we can say 
gathering the gap or data information gap between the current and the desired level of the audience required, audience knowledge, attitude, skills, aspirations. That is known as a CASA, knowledge, attitude, skills, aspiration, and the behavior. That, then it also confirms or negates the assumptions of audience audience characteristics and appropriate content that also defines the goals and the objective also ensures the goals and the objective that are aligned with the agency strategic plan then question might be addressed by the need assessment that also includes what are the nature and the scope of the problem that that means what is the nature and the scope of the problem where is the problem located whom does it affect and how does it affect them that is what is the nature and the scope and how the problem will be located, how it will affect the problem, and how does it will affect the organizations. When what is the problem about or what, what its effect that justify the new expanded or the modified project or the program? What feasible actions or what is the feasibility study that is taken out for the problems? Who is the appropriate target audience? Then who are the people involved in over here, either the stakeholder or the sponsors? Now, next question arises, why, why there is a requirement of this one? What is the importance of the need assessment or the why, why the need assessment is very important for the project design and the implementation? So without assessment, without analysis, one of the phases or one of the parties, one of the step is not clear. So we are not, not able to proceed with the designing phase. Only requirement gathering is not sufficient for the need assessment for the project designing. So we have to, we have to, uh, we have to be the need assessment for the we have to apply the analysis assessment for the design project or the project design and the implementation. So for example, sharing a facility with the Spectrum Science Museum in the Labo presented the weather forecast of phase at the WFO with an opportunity to showcase the weather sciences. And there are additional benefits of also, also included that needs assessment as an integral part of the project designing, project measurement and the implementation process. Now, what are the various benefits that is uh, that is used with the assessment when we apply the assessment? So, first one is serving the audience. Audience are more benefited from the assess from the need assessment. So, ultimately, the people who participate in the education project benefit from from need assessment. And there is education services that are more targeted, and delivery systems are designed better to reach their intended audience when founded on the data. So, whenever it is founded on the data, they need the or they require the more audience, they reach their intended audience when founded on the data rather than the hunches. Then setting the priorities. The priority is very high for the need that is rarely one dimensional. And there's a need assessment that also helps the project planner to systematically describe the audience. Who is the audience? How it is required? What are the planning out or what is the plan out for to systematically describe the audience that is impacted by the issue and the relationship to the issues as well as the underlying causes. So whatever the underlying causes, whatever the, um, we can say the factor that is responsible for the relationship that provides a relationship for the issues. And with this level of information, admin and the project many planners also make the informed decision about what is the project, how it is developed, what are the various possible solution or the combination of the solution that is first address the best need. The next one is reinventing the wheel. Reinventing means again and again same same output or uh, one of the output must be carried out as an input. So anytime a new project is initiated, there is some danger that it duplicates efforts already that takes place elsewhere within the agency or the wider community. That is reinventing the wheel. Again and again, we are reinventing the wheel. And there is a need assessment that will determine if materials of the project developed elsewhere can be adopted or can be used to the new conditions, to the new factors, to the new sake of the temptations. The next one is a resource allocation. So no matter whether what the problem or the issue is, is that the project planner that must confront the budget process sooner or later. That is the resource allocation that provided by the that is provided by the admin with the proposed project that should be fully funded, postponed, or the rejected. And project managers can also make a case and also assist the admin in allocating the resources appropriately. So this is also one of the benefit of the assessment. Then uh, collating the building, the collating in the sense they are setting up the 
Yes, yes, yes. That is a wide range, a wide variety of the stakeholders are also identified in this step and also coordinate or coordinate the building in the, at one place. Then strategic planning. There should be a two types of chart that we already discussed. That is the Gantt chart and the PERT chart. These charts are used for strategic planning that require the strategic goals that can be powerful strategic planning. Now this is one of the Merito Multicultural Education for Resource Issues Threatening Oceans. Now we have done with the benefits. Next is how to plan out a need assessment. What are the various outcomes? What are the various, we can say the requirements, what are the various thoughts, what are the thinking, what are the requirements that is available for the planning out a need assessment. So a need assessment can be seen as a systematic exploitation of the divergence or the discrepancy between the current situations or the level of the services and the desired solution. So one is the current condition, current situations and the desired situation. That is what is right now and what should be the project. So that is a planning out the assessment. So we have to consider the case what is and what should be. And in analyzing this gap, a project team members begin to identify the problems, opportunities, strengths, challenges, the same thing that we have discussed, but it takes Lots of time, so it is more time consuming. This is one of the limitation we can say for the need assessment is that it is very time consuming with most process that involves multiple stakeholders and the multi effect issues that can be complex or that can be used. And this this uh, main 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 program is divided into the multi manageable step that is also known as a top down approach. And similarly, we can also recognize that how determine how the much of the process should be followed depend on the project that is what are the various time and the effort that is involved in conducting a need assessment that must be balanced against the time and the resources that is available to the invested in the project as a whole. And where do the ideas for the education program came from? Now these are the various factors that are basic to a successful need assessment. First one is keeping in mind the values and the necessity of the broad based participation by the stakeholders. Then choose an appropriate means of gathering information about the critical issues and the other data. Then recognize core values. What are the various core values in the group whose needs are being assessed? The need assessment is also a process that is not something that, that is done to people then it cannot ignore the political factor. Some people may view the process as uh, causing a loss of the control. Some priorities may be given, may be encountered to the process, may be encountered to derive ideas in the system. And at last there is a data gathering method that by themselves are not the, or uh, meets, or they also require the assessment categories. And the need assessment is a total decision making process in which the data is required, but, or, Data is considered as a one component, we can say. Now, step one, this is a planning out. Set the focus, refine the issue, and identify the stakeholders. What are the focus? What are the various issues? And identify the stakeholders. Then establish the planning team. So first one is identify or set the, we can say the target. What is the main target? How we can define the target? And what are the various stakeholders that is used in this one? That is step number one. Step number two is establish the planning team. Who are the persons that is doing this refinement that is you going to plan out or that is going to do assessment? So establish the planning team, then uh, draft a plan for carrying out the need assessment. What is the main plan or draft of plan means or what is the category that is used for carrying out the need assessment. Then use the TOP model to direct or to use data collection efforts. What are the various data collection efforts that is required? Then gauge the likelihood of the project success through opportunity assessment. What are the various opportunity assessment that is required for this? Then define the participants in the need assessment. What are the various participants that is required? What are the various categories of participants that is required in the need assessment? Then uh, last step is design the data collection strategies. What are the various data collection strategies? Or what are the various scenarios by which there is the data collection strategies are used? Hello? Hello? So these are the seven steps for the planning. First of all, set the focus, then establish the uh, planning team, 
draft of plan that is a rough idea for the need assessment use the top model for the data collection efforts then what are the various likelihood that provides opportunity for the assessment then define the participants in the need assessment and what are the various data collection strategies that is used after the planning there is a data collection what are the various steps that is required so step number eight that is the next step after designing a data we can define what are the various sampling schemes that is that is going to establish so determine the sampling scheme then design and uh, pilot data collection instrument so what are the various instrument that is used with the data collection uh, procedures so design and pilot the data collection instruments then data gather and the record the data so first of all what are the various sampling schemes then uh, what are the various data collection instrument that is required that is required then uh, how to gather and record the data what are the various requirement by which we can gather the requirement by which we can use the requirements of gathering the data so gather and record the data so first one is sampling scheme then design and yeah, design and pilot the data collection instruments, then gather and record the data. After this, so one part is one part is over, that is the planning. Next part is data collection. Third part is data analysis, data reporting, and the priority settings. So what are the various data analysis part? What is the data reporting part and what is the priority settings? Next step is step number eleven that performs the data analysis. What is the data analysis, how it is gathered, and how it is going to use. So first is providing the data analysis or perform the data analysis then determine the priorities a priorities in the sense which which task is to be done first and then what are the various possible solutions what are the potential solution that is acquired for this one that is the next step so first of all set the priorities determine the priorities and what are the with the area what are their potential solution that is required for this solving the problem then um, we can say correlate the information and create a process correlate in the sense compile each and each and every information whatever the information that is acquired that is required so synthesize the information and create a report these steps are the various we can say it's a nutshell that we provide for the need assessment just wait so the first part is uh, set the focus refine the issues and identify the stakeholders so set the focus in the sense that means uh, establish the goal what is the goal or target what is the target then re refine the issues what are the various factors that is used or what are the various factors that is considered as a hindrance for the focuses and also identify the stakeholders that is probably safe to assume that the desire to conduct a need assessment did not fall out of the sky. There's a specific area of the interest that may have been selected based on the expectations and also needs are delineated in the agency strategy or the management plan. And there's also a research that is also conducted by the NOAA, uh, NOAA that is scientist that also prompts a specific usage or issue as education priority, comment and other evidences that is collected over the time from the facility users and also the program participants whatever the who's over the program participant that is acquired in the first step those who are initiating the need assessment also specify the scope of the social economic or the environmental that is SWE issues and that also needs to be addressed what is and what should be the same line that we have discussed then once the overall purpose of the need assessment is established so once we have done with the overall ass assessment what is the main assessment the key stakeholders the range of the individual that includes the audience that includes the potential partners decision makers and the sponsors with the vested interest in the issue or the process are identified so whosoever the potential partners whosoever the decision makers whosoever the uh, sponsor that is also with the vested interest in the issue or the process that are identified with this one and there is a permission to conduct the need analysis is also secured and the decision maker would or who should receive the result of the need assessment are identified so whatever the permission that is acquired that is used to conduct the need assessment that is very secure and there is a decision maker who also who, whosoever also receives the result of the need assessment that is also identified on this one 
but this is after the overall purpose of the need assessment must be initialized and must be established then there's a role of the uh, key stakeholders then and step number two is establish the planning team establish the planning team means what are the what, what are the various persons that is required what is their backgrounds that means uh, educational backgrounds so that planning must be carried out for the team members that is from the outside the agency and will serving as a volunteer expectations and responsibility that should be established early on and there should be recognized that a number of the planning team members were invited to participate because they represent or they, they provide the specific stakeholder groups then uh, next one is draft a plan to carry out the need assessment so till now we are carrying out the stakeholder uh, need assessment now how to carry out or how to fulfill that dream or how to fulfill that criteria so as with the project the planning of the need assessment can easily spin out of the control the desire to be inclusive both in terms of the issues and the audience that can become the overlapping and recognizing that the primary purpose of the need assessment is to help the educate uh, or education coordinator design as an appropriate project there is a plan for how the need assessment will carried out that should be developed and there is a project team that must determine the scope of the need assessment that is the team must determine the type breadth and the depth of the organization of the information that needs assessment should be designed together so what are the various need assessment categories that should be acquired for this and for which the data should be collected specifying what should be collected and identified what should be targeted assessment then use a top model for this so there should be a planning a committee that turns in attention to the top model that for for example when there is a data collection for the need assessment that occurs at the upper three levels of this one that is that also compare the social economic and the environmental issues conditions with the current or the baseline condition that also establish the need or the issue on the same way similarly comparing the desired and the baseline practices or the behavior that also give rise to the conditions knowledge attitude skills and the aspirations that also informs the uh, uh, people behavior about the project teams or the project needs and if the existing data sources are not available chances are the project that will be best served by collecting data from a range of the stakeholders this is the project development social economic and the environmental conditions then what are the various practices and the behaviors knowledge attitude skills and the aspirations the next step is go to the likelihood of the project success to the opportunity assessment so if, if the casa levels that is a uh, available or the key, um, knowledge attitude will be used for the project development there is a reaction participation activity that will be carried out for the resources for the activities now this is a ladle that is used to denote the project development there is a reaction then there is a participation then activities resources then well, who are the participants in the need analysis that is the stakeholders that also take out inside and outside the agency and although many of these stakeholders were invited to participate in the planning team and now that a plan for the need assessment have been developed so what are the need assessment what are the planning out criteria that have been developed and it is a time to revisit and redefine or refine the list of the stakeholder and also provide the potential participant groups so what are the participants group what are the time to revisit and refine the list of the stakeholder that also provides a potential participant group criteria and depending on the purpose of the need assessment the list of the key stakeholder may need to be expanded or reduced it depends on the scenario it depends on the conditions and the decision must be made about whom should should be targeted for the participation in the need assessment what type of data will be used what type of data need to be collected and from where for example if the need assessment relate to the development of citizen science project that is the same project the data collection might target the multiple groups including the no double scientist that is used on the topic same 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 everything so after collection there is a designing of the data collection strategies that means representing in the in the in the pictorial pictorial representation represent with the help of the diagrams for example one of the best diagram is the dfts or the flow charts 
that is gathered at each level of the top programming staircase. And this process also matches the participants groups with the key questions in the appropriate instruments and while keeping the budgets personal and time constraint in the mind. So that means that should be for with the cost spread infinite analysis with the, with the personal uh, analysis and pers sorry personal and also the time bound that is kept in the mind and the planning team must determine the best data collection method that gives the specific situations and keeping in mind that no one um, data collection method fits all the situations each each method comes with its own strength and the weaknesses what are the strength what are the, their weaknesses for this Next is the data collection that I'm going to, uh, this, uh, uh, this contain three steps, four steps, so this I'm going to take within the next class, that is not tomorrow's class. Now, if there is any doubts, any queries regarding the assignment, regarding this module, regarding anything, then you can ask the query from me. Have you have you received the ebook? Hello. Yeah, have you received the ebook yesterday? I'm asking a question that have you received the ebook? Okay. So I I I will send it yeah, I will send it tomorrow, not today. Okay, all right. Any other issue?